Good morning. Oh, I'm still sleeping. I hope you can tell. I don't always look this ugly. But I'm just waking up right now. Still have all the crusts of waking up. But anyway, good morning. And you know what? I just woke up and I had this thought. You know, uh, in South Africa, we had, uh, during apartheid, which is when I went to school, we had something called the Department of Education and Training. Uh, it was a department that was designed to educate black people, to educate, um, and I mean, our teachers, most of them were black teachers, so it kind of helped because they really were genuinely trying to educate us. Um, but ultimately, it was created by the system, apartheid system, to really condition us in the way we think, in the way we do things, and really to prepare us to be the servants. And and I understand people make a general, you know, like um, a general uh, conclusion that all education ultimately is designed to condition us and um, to make us think inside the box. But DT was on steroids in a sense that um, the apartheid system really wanted us to be cogs in the system and have no ability to think or to create or to do anything that would be beneficial uh, to anyone else other than the white supremacy and um and uh and and so that made me think this morning and i was just thinking about it you know so many of us go to school and we get education and uh, i'm sure i'm guilty of that too uh where we really hate thinking we really hate uh thinking outside the box it's almost like we get scared and i understand thinking can be scary I mean, think about the things we can think about that we take for granted today and we take them at face value. We never apply any thinking because maybe there's no need for that, for us to think about them. But there are times when we absolutely need to think. And I was just thinking to myself, and I'm not going to go on too long here because I just don't want to grab too many things because, you know, as you know, I can go on and on. But I was just thinking about it. Thinking is the most essential um, thing to to um, growth, you know, like growth as a person and also making sound decisions. I'm not saying that all thinking leads to sound decision because you can think way outside the box or you can think in ways that are destructive. But by and large, you should be able to be if you're a thinker you should be able to say okay i'm thinking in destructive ways and how can i be more creative but um and really i've seen so many people with very who are very educated who went to school and are very well versed in their subjects and um and uh they have all the qualifications but when it comes to thinking they absolutely hate it. Um, they really see it as a waste of time. They see it as something that they should uh, engage, that's something that's negative, that's something that they don't want to engage in. And I was just thinking about it. Have you met these people? They went to school. They have all the education. I mean, in, in South Africa, a great example, we have so many people who are educated in positions of power, but they cannot think for to save their lives you know and um and i understand we live in society where thinking is is regarded as something boring and as something that you know uh something that negative people do but thinking and actually expressing your thoughts in a way that's respectful and that obviously can forward the conversation of whatever you are engaged in is something that we need to do a lot. I think about all the problems that South Africa faces and how 
there are simple solutions to them. Maybe I know you'll say I'm oversimplifying things, but a lot of things that we consider uh, complicated are very, very simple. Um, and they have simple solutions, but you have people in positions that can do something about things, people who, you know, like uh, who have access, but refuse to engage in some sort of thinking, they get repulsed by, you know, like anything that's not within, you know, um, their own boxes of thinking. And so and really, I was just thinking about that. What is the point of going to school if you cannot learn the most important thing to everything, which is thinking and thinking logically and, you know, like understanding logic and the value of it and understanding how, you know, like things today that we do today can impact generations and how can we you know, like solve some of the problems that South Africa faces, for instance, um, in a way that would not necessarily benefit today's generation, but generations to come. I just had that thought this morning. And, um, and as I said, my really, my, the point of this was to say that thinking is absolutely a positive exercise and we should not be repulsed by it or feel like it's something that's negative or feel like something if someone voices their thoughts that's something that's negative i just wanted to hear what your thoughts are in this topic and do you know any educated people who really just went to school and had qualifications but they cannot think outside the box but anyway let me know what you think <laughs>